Welcome to today's edition of the AII, watching stock news, deal tracker, and advancements in artificial intelligence. Hey folks, Sam Mowers here, back with another episode of the AII. For stock news today, Intel is partnering with the Olympics Committee and organizers to drive Tokyo 2020 with its technology, and IBM is collaborating with Skoda Auto University. Then we'll shift gears and look at some projections for the global citizen services AI market. So Intel Corporation, which is traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol INTC, is partnering with the International Olympic Committee, or IOC, the Tokyo Organizing Committee of the Olympic Games for Tokyo 2020 and others to drive the future of the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 with its technology. One example of that that leverages AI technology is 3D athlete tracking, or 3DAT, which the press release explains as, quote, a first-of-its-kind computer vision solution using AI to enhance the viewing experience for Olympic fans with near real-time insights and overlay visualizations during athletic events. Developed by Intel and hosted on Intel-based data centers in Alibaba's cloud infrastructure, 3DAT, in partnership with Olympic Broadcast Services, or OBS, uses four pan-tilt-mounted, highly mobile cameras to capture the form and motion of athletes, then apply pose estimation algorithms, optimized for Intel Xeon processors to analyze the biomechanics of athletes' movements. The system transforms that data into broadcast overlay visualizations available during replays of the 100-meter and other sprinting events." End quote. And IBM, which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol IBM, has signed an agreement of collaboration with Skoda Auto University, which will provide the latter's students with academic courses in new areas, including artificial intelligence, big data, and high-performance computing across a broad range of programs. Zuzana Kokmanikova, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who's the CGM of IBM Czech Republic, explained, quote, under the agreement, IBM teams will help develop new technical skills for students of this private college. Our mission is to enable students to graduate with direct hands-on experience of industrial strength tools that will help them in their chosen career. Technology, including AI, is now embedded in every industry and college students will need to constantly evolve and adapt for their future careers as new types of jobs are created, end quote. And we'll leave stocks for the day and look at a report from 4ARC Research, which finds that global citizen services AI market will grow from approximately $1 billion in 2018 to $14.3 billion in 2026, and that's with a compound annual growth rate of 46% in the forecast period of 2019 to 2026. An excerpt from that report summary reads, quote, Growing demand of IT infrastructure and government departments and need of automation process is expected to drive the market growth. IT modernization helps in managing or replacing aging hardware and software solutions with more automated and innovative solutions. For instance, as per GovLoop, Government of the United States has planned to invest 78% of $82 billion in federal IT spending on IT infrastructure. Furthermore, specifically 5,233 of the government's approximately 7,000 IT investments had spent on all O&M activities. Such spending has increased over the last ten, sorry, seven years, thus rising IT infrastructure for advancing and modernizing manual process is expected to drive the market growth. End quote. And that's it for today's AII. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. 